Yes, people. It is a thing that is very disturbing. In this country, there is a mentality where it is almost like people are not willing to allow other people. Doc. Yes, boss man. Other people to prosper, especially in business. And there are many examples where I have seen people with businesses in the community and other people will not patronize or support the business because the mentality is if they patronize those people, those people will get rich. And it is almost like a cardinal sin for them to see their peers prosper. There is a friend of mine. Oi, Shu, you're making too much noise there, Gaston. You're disturbing my vibe around here. Yeah, there's a friend of mine who has a, um, a business, a side business, where she sells food. And the food is very tasty, very good food. But there are those who will say, like, they will not buy her food because they, will not, they don't want her to get rich. And they will attribute all bad characteristics to the food say that the food is salty and all kind of things just because they do not want to see other people prosper in the land and there was a time i had a shop i was selling um chemicals to farmers seeds chemicals and things like that and i, I actually heard some of them saying the same thing that they're not going to patronize the business because so fair bello we 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 so what happened is when I had the shop and the thing was really helping a lot of farmers in the community and they were saying that some of them were saying I actually heard some people saying that they're not going to help me get rich. And they were saying it to other people. <laughs> and the message was being conveyed back to me. But these very people who were saying that they don't want me to get rich. The only thing they wanted from me was to take credit. There is a guy who took credit from my shop. $1,700 worth of credit. And he, 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 he just reached a point where he just stopped it. So he stopped talking to me just because he didn't want to pay me you see somebody from some other country would come establish shop and everybody would support them um mnc jq um all of them businesses they have businesses in castries viewfort and Sufre, and it is okay um cpj is a foreign entity and he can have as many business businesses in St. Lucia as he desires to have or can afford to have and it is okay. But if it is that somebody like me, especially if you grew up in the community that they grew up in, they believe that you're supposed to suffer just like them or more than them. Not realizing it is God Almighty. From the time you're born, God Almighty already dropped his oil on your head. And even if people from the community don't want to support my ventures, for example, People from Viewfort will come. People from Castries will come. People from Ansler will come. But that mentality has to stop in the country because you cannot expect everybody in a population to be poor. That is impossible. And the vibe is, if it is, for example, that the lady that they don't want to um, patronize, if that lady makes it very good in business, she makes it in business, invariably she will want to have certain things like buy a house, or build a house or build a bigger house or whatever. St. Lucian builders are the ones who will build a house. The building, the business gets um, expands. Most likely it is their own children who will be working out of the business. This mentality that St. Lucians have, where other people that they know are not supposed to advance more than them, that thing has to stop. We need to kill that in successive generations. That mentality needs to go away. Because in a population, there'll be people that are greater than you, lesser than you. That's just how it is. 
that is just how um, gifts and talents are distributed in the population. And so this mentality where you're thinking that because you do not support somebody, they're not going to get rich, that is craziness. Because when God drops his oil on, the, on somebody's head, you cannot stop them. You may slow them down for a few days, a few years. You cannot stop them, people. There are some of us, God drop oil on our head, and you can't stop us. You understand? And if you try to stop, it is like a train. And when you try to stop the train, you'll get crushed. Let the ASM send lotions that have their talent, their skills, their business acumen or whatever, leave the people alone and let them advance. Because when they progress, your children will get jobs. We have a situation where thousands of children leave secondary school every year. And the government is never able to absorb all this, the people that are leaving school. So it is private entities, private businesses that people need to start to employ your children. Leave the people alone. Some of you people are too, too um, envious in this country, too jealous of the progress of other people. Some of you do absolutely nothing much. You just want to sit, your, put your hands under your backsides and then you want to complain when other people are, are striving in life. This is a mentality in St. Lucia that has to go. When people are trying, leave the people alone. And the thing is, it is not like a situation where they will not patronize. Huh? They try to poison your, your, your business, spread all kind of things about people's businesses and about people. And I do not believe in court, but I believe we need to have a system here where people need to start taking people to court. Because you can't just tarnish somebody's business, their reputation and their names and think that it is okay. That is one of the things that is hampering the economic growth of the country. The mentality that people have that once they know you, you're not supposed to advance. Keep the fire burning. Talk to your people, your mother, your father, your sister, your nene, your children, your grandchildren. Break that cycle. Keep the fire burning.